Yo, what's going on guys? Sacred Warzone here, back with another diecast review. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I figured I've got some new stuff in the collection over the past few months. Why not get a video out, or a few videos out, and review some stuff? So, that's what I'm doing today. I'll have a few more videos coming out after this over the next couple days, probably. Uh, looking over some other stuff as well that I've gotten in the collection recently. But I thought today I'd start off with this. This is Kamui Kobayashi's uh, 2023 uh, Toyota. He ran at the Indy Road Course last year for his first NASCAR start. Um, I'm a big Kobayashi fan. Uh, he races in the FIA WEC, obviously, with Toyota. He's also the team principal for Gazi Racing Europe. So it was super cool for him to be able to come over to the States and uh, race in NASCAR and actually get a diecast produced. I don't think his car from this year at Coda uh, made MOQ with Lionel. So it's, it was super cool to at least be able to get this one made from last year. Um, so let's get right into it. Starting off on the side here, you can see, uh, you know, very nice uh, decal paint scheme here for just basic Toyota Gazoo Racing North America. You got the logo right here across the side. You got the TRD logo here on the base. Uh, Toyota Genuine Parts here. You got a chrome or a foil number on the side, which is really cool. I really like this detail with these new cars. Um, it's really cool to be able to see them have the foil numbers as opposed to just a basic standard like kind of sticker. Uh, you got the 75th anniversary logo right here. Obviously a Cup Series logo. You got the Goodyear tiring on these new new uh, center lock wheels, which looks really good in my opinion. You got Kobayashi with the Japanese flag right there, all the other uh, 2311 sponsors. Pretty a decent looking front end here. Uh, uh, decals aren't super out of wonk from what I can tell. You got the 67 again right there. Sunoco, 2311, like I said. Uh, nothing too different on this side of the car from this uh, the other side, obviously. We got the back end here with the rookie stripes and everything. Just the top of the car. This car was DIN number 22 from when I picked it up at the Lionel Retail Store. And yeah, it's a standard ARC, so, you know, no working suspension or anything like that. We got the opening hood, as always, so we got that in there. Got a couple sponsors under there, under there, the Mobile One Toyota sponsors right there. No opening rear deck lid, but just a basic standard car, you know. Like I said, I'm a big fan of Kobayashi in the WEC with his racing for Toyota. He's a insane driver, so it's cool that he was able to come over to the States and race for 2311 and actually get a car produced. Like, like I said, I don't think his car from this year at Coda made the MOQ because he raced in the 50 car this year instead of the 67 that you see here. But being a fan of his and just a fan of the World Endurance Championship uh, in general, I was like, once I saw that this car was getting made and being released, I was like, I have to get it. It's the only Toyota that I actually have in my collection uh, so far. So... I thought I'd do a quick review of this car. You know, super cool paint scheme, super basic, but still very nice look to the car and everything. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video for the next review.